How's, how's everything with like, training and where you're at? And, so yeah. and, and what, what percentage do you feel like you're at? Um, I, I guess 100%. I mean, I, I was injured most of the fall, and probably five weeks ago I thought that would be something that would hold me back a little bit, but I think uh, training's gone well, and I think I've, I've hit it pretty perfectly. Like, I'm, I'm not worn down like you can be from a, a long marathon segment. I'm, I'm feeling fresh physically and mentally, so I think um, I have as good of a chance as I could have given how this segment has gone. Uh, you run 211 coming into this, and... I guess looking at the field, there's there's uh, there's not a lot of guys under 211. There's a lot of guys kind of right behind that mark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you mentioned a couple, of them, but how do you, how do you feel like this is going to play out with the heat and with that, that field around? Yeah, there? I think anything could happen. Um, like a lot of people have been saying, this is like a changing of the guard type race, and so I think there's some young people or maybe some people that don't have impressive credentials that are going to surprise to the upside, and then there could also be some people like Galen or Meb who have awesome credentials, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't come together. So I think the, the race is more or less wide open, and the heat just compounds that effect because, you know, it makes the, the outcome unpredictable, kind of. I mean, you've run in the 2720s for 10,000, but you're kind of not, you don't get the same press as other people. Does that yeah. bother you a little bit? No, um... I mean, <laughs> no, because uh, honestly, like 27:24 is my PR, and that's a great 10K time. But um, you know, there are guys in the U.S., guys like Ben True and stuff, that are doing amazing things at all sorts of distances. So um, you know, it's one thing to go to Stanford and, and run a fast 10K. Anyone can do that. Tim Nelson did that. Didn't get a lot of press. So um, I can I can understand if people whatever don't don't give me much publicity because of that, but it's, it's fun with me. I'm happy to do my training and get on with things. And do you view yourself now as like a pure marathoner? I mean, do you feel like that's a, a distance that suits you well? Or, you know, sometimes, you know, we say there's 10,000 guys that want to be marathoners, but it just doesn't quite click. Yeah, I think for a while I was a 10,000 guy pretending to be a marathoner, but this segment I, I actually did train properly like a marathoner. Like I hit 140 miles for one week and um, like it used to be in the past I would do long workouts, my quads would be killing me, my feet would be killing me, but now I've been grinding at the longer stuff long enough that I, that I think um, that I'm at this stage of my career a better marathoner than I am a track guy. Somebody asked Desiree to pick who she thought the top three men might be. She singled yeah. you out, too. That's uh, got yeah. to be encouraging, I would think. Yeah. It would be disappointing if she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, that, that, that's, I mean, she's a great runner, and so if I have her confidence, I'm happy with that. Yeah. One, one of the things that's, that's difficult with the marathon as it compared to track is that you don't see the guys racing every week. You don't have the times coming into the, yeah. the event to know, all right, he can do this, he can close yeah. in this speed. Yeah. So how do you how do you come into a, a race like this and, and draw confidence in your ability compared to the guys that you have to beat to make yeah, the team? Yeah, I, I think that's a, a fantastic point because um, yeah, there's going to be people at the, the finishing area of this race being like, Jesus Christ, I can't believe X Y Z person did that. And um, so for me, I think you can, you have a, an idea of who has marathon talent, who's who's put in a big training block. You hear chatter about how people are training. So um, even though people haven't raced, I think you have a general idea of what people are capable of and so um, for me that's just being aware on the course of maybe 10 or so people that I think um, you know if there's four miles to go this is someone that I should be really worried about. It's obviously going to be hot. How have you historically run in the heat? I'm up and down. I think I'm a bad uh, heat and humidity guy. I think I'm a good dry heat guy so I'm, I'm excited that it's dry heat. So Boulder last year was really hot and um, I, I did well there so that's my last hot race aside from track which I bombed. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of an up and down heat guy. So. Good luck.